Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Amy D. And welcome to ManMadeDIY.com. So I'm here with Amy D of MadeByAmyD.com. And Amy makes stuff. I do. From what? I make clothes and accessories, mostly for women and sometimes for guys. I make them out of fabrics that were usually something else, like a curtain or a tablecloth or a pair of pants. Uh, because when I started making clothes, I didn't have any money for fabric, and I had to use what was around. Now I do it because uh, I want to make the clothes affordable for people, and I want to keep to a certain uh, aesthetic, and I like to use older fabrics, and I like to go to Goodwill and use fabrics there, or um, sometimes someone's mother or grandmother uh, will have a stash of fabric that they need to unload. They contact me. Amy normally sews everything she makes, but today she's going to help me make a custom tool belt out of repurposed fabrics, and we're not going to sew a thing. And I want my tool belt to be for things that I use every day, like a pair of scissors, glue gun, my iPhone, beer. Yes. Today we're going to use a pair of pants, scissors, duct tape, a beer cooler, iron, and an old men's shirt. First, you want to cut the waistband off your pants because this is also going to be the waistband for your tool belt. Try to get as close to the seam as possible so you don't have a lot of fraying. When you're cutting this, you're going to want to cut off the uh, belt carriers because they'll get in the way of your tool belt. Except we're going to leave this one on in case we have something we want to hook on there. We're going to find the things that we want on our tool belt, for instance, the phone, and we're going to lay it down right here. Uh, I'm going to pull up enough fabric so that we have a pocket, and then I'm going to trace around it. The next thing you want to do is cut out your fabric that you've already traced. Make sure you count for the depth of the object, and also we're going to loop this onto our tool belt, so you want to count for enough fabric for that. I like using the hems that are already on things, so I don't have to sew them later, so this already has a hem, we're just going to use that. Now we're going to get some duct tape and tape it to the back side of the fabric, and then we're going to iron it on to fuse the duct tape to the fabric. We're going to iron on the fabric side uh, because you don't want the tape sticking to your iron and make sure you avoid the gluey spots so it doesn't make a mess. There we go. You don't want to do it for too long or it will like get super melty. Now I'm just going to clean up the edges to make it nice. Now I'm going to fold this down so I can make the belt loop. The belt will go in here and then I'll put a piece of tape across here. And then I'll fold this up and put a strip down each side to make our pocket. You don't want to iron on top of your tape, so I'm going to take this little piece of fabric and cover my tape and iron on top of that. Let's put our phone here, fold it up so we know we've got the right size, and then we're going to tape it down the sides. Now we're going to iron it again to hold the seams down. Okay, let's see if it works. First you want to cut this out and leave all the sewn edges together. Okay, so I have this cooler. You can use any, you know, the basic beer cooler. Uh, then I lined up the buttons on the back so that I cut a tiny hole there and a tiny hole there. So I'm going to thread this through those buttons. our tool belt we thought about the things that we normally use like a glue gun and beer. Uh, when you make yours you might want to make the pockets different sizes or shapes for what you use. So now I have a new awesome customized tool belt. In under an hour. And it was free. When you're finished with your tool belt take a picture and send it in an email to Chris at mamediy.com. And then check out more of her awesome work at madebyamedia.com. Good luck.
I want to open that beer. Mm -hmm.